Hey, good morning and welcome to the Weikert Realtors Unlimited Real Estate Market Update for September 2020. I'm Aaron Kraft, the managing broker of our office and let's get into what's going on in the real estate market. So first of all, uh, I wanna look at a lot of statistics here that are regarding our supply and demand issues, right? Uh, everything in price has to do with supply and demand. And what we're seeing right now is the supply has dropped tremendously and the demand uh, is high as well. So um, it, it, it is bringing our prices up and, and it is causing a, a problem here uh, for some of our seller, I'm sorry, from some of our buyers because there's just not enough supply out there on the market. All right, so as uh, supply dwindles and demand gets higher, prices typically increase. And that is what we're seeing here. And, and the reasons why for that, uh, you could speculate on a few things, but uh, overall across the country, we are seeing that people are moving to areas that they want to live in. Uh, a lot of companies have allowed their people to work from home and uh, that is allowing more people to move to places like the Asheville or Western North Carolina area. And so that is creating the higher demand and we just don't have the supply because people don't want to move away from here and builders can't quite keep up. Okay, so that's what's driving a lot of these markets. And to determine what kind of uh, seller's market, buyer's market we have, we always look at our market absorption rates and the lower the number, the more of a seller's market it is. If we're around a five or a six is typically an equal market, uh, but usually the lower it is, uh, more of a seller's market. And it does depend on exactly what area you're looking at. Um, these are some statistics as of today, September 4th, 2020. Looking at all of Buncombe County, single family homes, all of Buncombe County, uh, we're at a 1.76. So that means it's a strong seller's market. Here's the actual numbers in all the county. There's only 780 homes available. All price ranges, everything. Uh, only 780 available and 443 homes have gone under contract in just the last 30 days. All right, so that's what's driving these numbers down. We're gonna take a look at specifically certain prices and, and, and more specifically some areas here in just a second. But look at Haywood County. Haywood County is down to a 1.39. Haywood County, Rutherford County, a little bit more rural out in Rutherford County, 1.32. For all of uh, what we see going on out there, Lake Lure is uh, smoking hot in the real estate market for seller. Um, Hendersonville, Henderson County is as, as at a 1.45. Uh, so again, it is a strong seller's market throughout the whole region. All right. Um, looking at per city in Buncombe County, you see some of the differences. Uh, Asheville itself is at a 1.68. Black Mountain is at about a two there. Uh, Candler is out of 1.25 with only 50 homes on the market and 40 under contract in the last 30 days. All right, so that's what's driving some of these prices and some of these multiple offer situations. Well, let's look at uh, market absorption rates by price. So as you might predict, the higher the price, the higher the market absorption rate is gonna look. Uh, from zero to 250, there's only 27 homes in all of um, Asheville, there's 200, I'm sorry, uh, 27 homes that are under $250,000. Um, it's a little bit scary when we talk about uh, affordable housing, uh, but it's just the reality of the supply demand issue. So they're under a one at 0.84 is what we're looking like there, right? So in less than a month, all those homes will be uh, sold or under contract. Uh, that's kind of what that, that means, theoretically anyway. Um, 250,000 to 400,000 is kind of the bread and butter where a lot of homes fall. Um, there's only 102 homes available though right now and 91 went under contract in the last 30 days. So just about a one there, 1.12. And set 400 to 700,000 is a 1.44. 700,000 and above, that's where you see the jump up significantly to a five, 5.25 on the market absorption rate. So that's the number that's driving the overall number up to like a 1.68, 1.7 uh, for the county and for the area. But in reality, where most of the homes lie on price, uh, we're even lower than that. Okay, so I hope that's helpful for you as a seller. Uh, but as a buyer, hey, there's still good news for you guys. Uh, it is actually still a good time to buy. Uh, even with those supply demand issues, prices rising, 
And here's why we're seeing part of the reason why we're seeing so many homes sold is that these interest rates are just at crazy low prices. Um, we're seeing plenty of sellers get uh, 3% interest rates and even lower. We had an investment loan the other day get a 2.65%, uh, extremely low. I'm not saying you can get that. Um, it all depends on your loan type and credit score and all that. But, um, you know, we're seeing most of these home prices around the threes for interest rates. So it is still a great time to buy because of that. That's historically low. Um, I personally think the interest rate should be around five or sixes. And, you know, that's, this is half of what that is. So really allows you to buy more house. And even though the prices uh, are, are fairly high, uh, we are anticipating them to continue to rise. Uh, there's really no indication to say they're going to go down at some point because with the market shift or the shift of America, maybe away from some bigger cities, uh, our area in Western North Carolina is only going to get better and stronger and uh, more people are going to want to live here. The weather's not going to change. The beautiful mountain scenery and views and hiking and biking and all the great things about Asheville and the surrounding area aren't going to change. So um, people are going to want to live here. So we, we do anticipate prices to continue to rise for the foreseeable future. So now would be the best time to buy as a buyer. All right. So this little video is here to help you uh, better understand the market. As of today, September 4th, uh, I'm here to support our agents and support our clients and uh, here to get you any information you'd like. So this is my contact information here below. That's my personal cell phone and email. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you need anything. And this is our office information and our website. Uh, our agents are here to help, here to advise and uh, help you get the right house or help you sell your house and the high, for the highest price and the least amount of time. So hope we can help. Thanks for joining us. Um, have a have a great day.